episode at stake. And that's true. Last week's programme certainly put a year or two on me. The problem is the initial £50,000 the contestants have to play with. No, don't fear for the licence money. It's only imaginary. Unlike the prize for the ultimate winning team, for they will fly away on Concord to the States. That's after the final playoff. But for now, here are this week's teams. First, today's teenagers from Milford Haven Grammar School to Ian's. Ian Griffith and Ian Griffith. Hello, Ian. Hello. Replies in stereo, you see. <laughs> Ian, what are you going to do with yourself when you leave school? Something with computers, I think. Anything. Really? Do you play with computers now? Yep, i got a Spectrum at home. You how long for? Uh, three years, four years. And have you been playing this game for long? Uh, not really. Not long enough. Uh, we'll soon find out how yeah. good you are. What about you, Ian? Well, when I leave school, I might be a structural engineer. Structural engineering. Is that a recent ambition? Yes, yeah, fairly. We had a couple of careers in interviews in school. And, and it so. clicked? Yes. Good. Well, I wish you well for the night. Settle in then and put on your red headphones. And the opposing team today are systems engineers, Joe Morgan and Steve Calder. Hello to both of you. Joe, what sort of a systems engineer are you? We are technical and computer marketing, Brian. And did you study that in college? Uh, certainly not. No, social history and sociology. What about you, Steve? What did you read? I read psychology. Is that a good background for the work you're doing now? It can be. Yes, we'll see how well it pays off tonight. Okay. Settle in then and put on your yellow headphones. It's going to be a good game tonight. I can feel the vibrations building up. They've got 18 months of trading. One month per round. 30 seconds for each round. And if you're ready, team, the first round starts now. Right. Well, I'll go for profits. profits. And no, no cost option. Yeah, no cost. Blow the unions, is it? Hmm. Is that? Okay. Get a high profit. It's tax man. Forget yeah. him. Yeah, no. 10,000. Mm. Need the money. Bam. Wait, let's see what they're going to do now. Going to profit. Um. No cost. Oh, no, no. This is where we find out where we're, <laughs> what we like. <laughs> I think we know that. I think we're pretty close to the edge, don't you? I think so too. I know a tax inspector. He's a pretty exactly. nice guy. I think they're going to do exactly the same against you. I'll just over there. And they probably will. You do need to boost profits early in the game to establish an income. Good, no cost. Ten thousand again. No cost. Ten thousand profit. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Let's see if they do it again. Oh. In, in profits again, but not for a dark cost option. I go 10,000 on this one. No, I'll go 30. Let's try and put some money into it and see what happens. Hey, what do you reckon? I'm into slush, right? <laughs> it's gotta be, hasn't it? <laughs> That's two risks we've taken, Steve. It's a lot of money. Mm. No cost. Exactly the same 
these than before. Okay. Can't just screw these guys. They think we know what we're doing. <laughs> Profits again. We told him we'd like to take Steve. I think we should go high. How high? Let's go to 50. See what they do. Industrial action? To your eye. I'll take on the workers. You'll have to. Rupert Murdoch's my mentor. Yeah. I'll so make us go up. 50,000 each. So. Just a quick curse moving out yeah. of here. I can get it. because no. we've taken the 50 twice Go on, then. on a Go really on, then. risky number. You're right. Depends whether the risk's cumulative or not. Shot floor revolt again. <laughs> Let's try. Even Ian McGregor can do it, so can we. No, he can't. <laughs> oh, well, it's tough. Well, that's quite a lot, isn't it? That's cost us more than that go. nine where both the scores are remarkably close. Not 
as we as it looks like we're going to be in a winning position. Should we spread the in? That's not the last one. So besides, yeah. we could get hit quite hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was bound to crash, is that, isn't it? Just <laughs> <laughs> picking on us. Yeah. Don't like the little kids. It's all even us big kids. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's all a fix. I can't they there's crash. Right, so I see you in the 2000s. In there. Well, make it 800,000. That will do, that's fine. And then put the rest in property. Cool under pressure or what? Not bad. have a look and see. The shares of course have to be revalued and the last minute profits go in at the end of month 18 and now that nail-biting pause whilst the two students Ian and his friend Ian see whether any of their shares are going to crash. Us. Banking is safe, so is property and so is oil. So now they have to sell their remaining shareholdings And that's £688,000. Now the same for the yellow team, the systems engineers. First of all, are any of their shareholdings going to crash? Well, what's half a million quid between friends? Now they will sell their tattered remaining shareholdings, but it's still a pretty good total. And the yellow team, the systems engineers, have won. So commiserations to the team from Milford Hayden Grammar, Ian and Ian, I thought you were quite good Ian, not so sure about Ian though. <laughs> and congratulations to this week's winners who are the computer systems engineers. <laughs> okay, well let's have a final look at the leaderboard, which of course is getting more exciting as the programme goes on. Come back at the same time next week to see if that's going to change. And until then, from us all here in Computer Challenge, good night.